How's it going? Armageni here. Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to go over how to make the hardware AI blade that I showed in my Scorpius AI blade video. Check out that video first if you haven't yet. In it, I go over the basic functionality and how this thing works. To reiterate what I said in that video, this is not practical and definitely not a good solution for actually playing the game on a regular basis. I've had this Drake looking contraption sitting on my desk for three weeks now, and I think I've used it once. You will be significantly more dangerous in any turreted ship just by grabbing a random player to go fly with you. This is more of a fun project to let you get a taste of what AI blades might bring in the future, and I'm hoping it might motivate some like-minded folks to learn about microcontrollers. Speaking of microcontrollers, this video is going to be pretty short as I'm not going to go into how to get set up with Arduino or Auto Hotkey for that matter. There's plenty of resources online for both. If you're new to either, Google will show you the way. Okay, let's get nerdy. I'll start with the hardware. For this build, you'll need two Arduino Pro micros, some wire, preferably three colors, and most likely the ability to solder. I say most likely as I think some Pro micros might actually come with pre-installed headers, so if you get those, you'll need a breadboard and some jumper wires. The Arduino Pro Micro is my choice for this project as it uses an ATmega 32U4 chip, which gives you built-in USB connectivity and extra serial interface too, both of which we're going to take advantage of. Just make sure you get the 5 volt version. Hardware setup is pretty simple. All you have to do is connect everything up according to this diagram. Then you just upload the appropriate sketch to each Arduino. We'll call one Arduino board the transmitter and the other one the receiver. The transmitter will get the TX sketch and the receiver will get the RX sketch. These are very simple sketches to allow for maximum customizability. The transmitter just sends anything it receives to the receiver and the receiver presses that key. When you're getting your Arduino set up, take note of the COM port that the transmitter uses because you'll need it later. This diagram as well as the sketches and auto hotkey script can be found at a GitHub link in the description. Writing that perfect segue, let's talk briefly about the auto hotkey script. This will run on the main PC. The instructions are written inside the script, so it should be pretty self-explanatory. Just don't forget to change the COM port number to whatever your transmitter Arduino is on. Then you'll create the batch file that's detailed in the instructions. Also, make sure you put that file in the root of your C drive. Once that's done, feel free to edit the keys in the script if you'd like something different, but by default, when you press the right click on your main PC, backslash will be sent to the second PC. T will send T for target, and apostrophe will send C key. These are set up like this so there's minimal deviation from the game's standard keybinds. The only thing you should have to change is assigning fire all weapons to backslash on the second PC. It should be a blank keybind by default. The last step will just be for joystick users. If you're using sticks, you'll need to use something like joystick gremlin or target or joy to key to essentially assign keyboard keys to different buttons on your sticks. That way, auto hotkey will still intercept those button presses as keyboard presses and send them to the second PC. After all that, you should be golden. Whenever you press the appropriate key on the main PC, the corresponding ones will be pressed on the second PC. That in turn will enable you to target with both systems and fire the turret guns from the quote unquote pilot seat. You'll still have to figure out a way to get both of your characters to their seats on both systems. It'll be tedious, I promise. Especially when you're doing it for the fourth time after figuring out various issues or just flying directly into an NPC while you're looking at the wrong screen. Okay, that's it. Like if you liked it, subscribe for more. Let me know how it goes for you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you.